So guys, here we are in Kanchanaburi. We made it. This is the start of our adventure vlog in Kanchanaburi. Yeah. What to do, where to go, what to see. Hi, we're Sean and Lena and we've been in Thailand for nearly four months. We wanted to visit a more adventure-packed province that has some sweet views and we heard that Kanchanaburi is one of them. But first we have to rent out a bike and hit the road. As we drive out Kanchanaburi City, straight away we are met with these beautiful peaks that honestly felt like we were transported back into Vietnam. We had an hour and a half journey, but what we didn't take into account is just how hot this day was gonna be. So we just pulled over because Sean's bit worried that we have a flat. I think we're okay. I just think that the wheels don't have a lot of tread on them. Right. I think we're okay. No flat tire as of yet. Uh, my ass is getting sore. Yeah, but my ass is also sore. Water break. Yeah, we've driven a bit. How long we've been driving? 40 minutes? 30 minutes? More. More. Nearly an hour. That's my hair. <laughs> it's parted. <laughs> I will say, it's some scorcher today. Boiling. Oh my god, this just shows. It's absolutely worth coming to Thailand during wet season. Oh, stop. We, we were con like we were nearly not going. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's so lush green. So many flowers, it's absolutely beautiful and it's probably like 40 degrees right now. We just checked the weather. It's 42 degrees. <laughs> Which has last time it was this hot. We were oh, in Bangkok, Bangkok yeah, yeah, back that. in April. Oh that was a nightmare. That was hot. Well, yeah, it's super hot. Like you're as you're driving, you would just come into sections where the air is like so hot in your skin. Yeah. You're going like 70 kilometers an hour. Yeah. But typically the air is like cools down when you're going fast, but not today. As we tried to survive the Thai heat, we realised we might have gotten lost in the car park. I think we're going the right, wrong I, I think way. We are going the wrong way. Any maps going? Oh, we're in car. Oh wait, I don't car know. Car park one. Oh, yeah, okay. look, Hellfire Pass. Here we go. Rail bed. It's okay. In my walk. Right, so it is true there. It is true. Yeah. Oh, Air conditioning. To Hellfire Pass, it's 500 meters from from the first floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the uh, pass. And you go back the same way. So it's one kilometer in total. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it take like uh, 40 minutes to one hour to go and back. Okay, yeah. We also have the long walk, but I think you can you cannot make it today. Oh, really? 2.6 kilometer. Okay. So it's five kilometer in total. It mm -hmm. takes you like three hours to mm -hmm. go and back if you go all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can like go so a little bit. halfway. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Wow. Thailand is beautiful. I'm actually getting chills here. Mm. It's really somber, you know. During World War II, uh, during the Japanese occupation of Thailand, the prisoners of war were forced to build a railway from Thailand to Burma. 
and uh, they were subject to, as you can imagine, some, some terrible atrocities, disease, starvation, death. Um, so it's very somber in here. Uh, but it's, it's great to acknowledge history and see how far we've all come. We didn't want to film too much in the museum itself as we tried to be as respectful as possible. It was a great exhibition and we learned a lot about the Thai history, which you don't really hear about much in the West. In Ireland anyway. Man. You never get told. You just get told about yeah, the, the Japanese about attacked the Pearl Harbor. You don't hear about how the Japanese no. treated the Thai or the Australians. Japan had a huge play, part to play in World War Two. But yeah, it's just I, but you just have to address it. Yeah, you, know? you have to. Like, sorry. It's it's rude if we don't. Yeah, well, know? it's called the Hellfire Pass because I think these guys were put through hell, you know, yeah. building it as they're all prisoners of war. So yeah, you have to address it. It is quite sad, but. It's also... Just be grateful, I guess, that we have this life. But <laughs> we, we are still in beautiful Kanchanaburi. Um, we've got a nice trail here. And we're going to appreciate being here in peace, peace times, you know. And at the end of the day, that's all we can do, I think. Thanks, Thailand. Thanks, Thailand. Right, let's keep moving. I'll say, if you're coming here, bring bug spray because we're getting swarmed. So basically, the prisoners had to cut into this mountain using only hand tools to then build the railway. We strongly recommend visiting the Hellfire Pass. Not only are you surrounded by beautiful nature, you also get a chance to learn about the history of Kanchanaburi and it really gives you a perspective on how far the area has come. I must say, the pit stops in Thailand are superior. We got bubble tea over here, cafe over there, and then the classic 7-Eleven. We stopped for the boba. <laughs> it's a classic. But yeah, so far day one has been incredible. Uh, it is extremely hot, so we decided we're just gonna head home because we don't have the energy to do anything else. Stop. It was like 44 degrees today. Yeah, yeah. Just crazy, crazy hot. The Hellfire Pass, wow, really blew me away. Mm -hmm. Like it was bringing me to tears. It was beautiful nature, great, great view of the valley. Um, mm -hmm. A really great taste of what Kanchanaburi has to offer, I think. For sure. It was, and it's free. It's free. What more like, do you so want? so good. And um, want? beside it is a very famous waterfall. I think it's Nam Tok waterfall. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want, you can stop by there. It is 300 baht per visit for a foreigner and then 100 baht for a uh, Thai um, person, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna get back, go for a swim, relax, and then tomorrow we'll see you at some waterfalls. Good morning. Good morning. It's a bright one. Mm -hmm. I'm squinting. I, I, we're doing some swimming today. We're actually going to a different national park. We're going to Irwan National Park, which has a load of waterfalls. Apparently seven, seven tiers of waterfalls. So yeah, head there. It's about an hour drive from Kanchanaburi town. I'm looking forward to so, it. Yeah. We'll see you there.
just arrived to the national park and look at this bike. That bike's amazing. Absolute anime out of 10. Oh, he nearly left the key in. Amazing. I want one. I want one. That it, that's it, Sean. That, that's the dream bike. It is the dream bike. Beautiful drive. Really nice drive. Yeah. Here's the ticket. I'm always jealous. Selena gets to just look around. <laughs> I've got a... Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. These are the waterfalls we're going today. Ooh, there's a cave. <laughs> the map. We got the map. Okay, I think we should go before people start coming. Yeah, it's filling up a bit. Seven waterfalls, guys. Seven. Apparently, if you want to swim, you have to get a life jacket. Yeah, we had to um, leave an ID to get these life jackets. A bit ridiculous. And there's a time limit. <laughs> and you have it for two hours. You should just have a choice yourself, you know? If you're gonna die, you're gonna die. We just skipped the first one because there's like a good few people there. And I'm not arsed waiting around. And we're gonna come back down this way anyways. Yeah. So basically, we've gotta climb up to all seven levels. This waterfall was gorgeous. The water was super clear. And the best part, you can go behind the waterfall if you wanted and swim with some fishies. Definitely a weird national park, but much more like a tourist um, like kind of a water theme. park. Yeah, I, exactly. I was going to say exactly that. Feels like we're in like a theme park, water park. It's jammed up. It's jammed. So many fishies. Here we are at the third waterfall. I think it's actually just up there. Oh, is it? I don't think this is it. It's just like baby. Oops. Danger. Do you want to talk about the fish? Guys, if you come to what pool are we on? The fifth? Fourth? Know, fourth pool, Irwan Waterfalls. Watch your toes. <laughs> There's Elena, look at the fish. These fish, uh, as you're getting in, see the way they're all waiting around where this woman's getting in? They will start fighting at your feet. Uh, Stop. Trying to get the dead skin. Look, she, she doesn't know what to do. She's lifting her feet up out. It's traumatic. Some of them are huge as well. This is definitely the best pool. Just because you got, look at this water slide. These kids are having a great time. Stop. Everyone's having a great time. The fish will try to eat you. The, the fish are having a great time. This is a fun waterfall. It's more like, like we said, a theme park yeah. than a waterfall, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, we think there's only two waterfalls you can swim at. Well, two out of the whole recap at the end of the video.
this was such a fun day out. It was honestly one of our favorite days in Kanchanaburi as you're surrounded by beautiful nature, so many butterflies as well, and the waterfalls, they just keep getting better and better. It is a bit of a climb all the way to the seventh waterfall, but it's definitely worth it. Guys, we just saw a crab, crab in a river. River crab. Can I add that to the crab. list? I'm terrified now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it wasn't just fish biting our feet in the last place. Maybe oh. it was. Let's go. We made it. Honestly feels like it. It was 300 baht to enter the national park, which as you saw is more like water park. And then we did have to pay a little bit extra for renting out the life jackets. But everyone is on such a good buzz and you can either rent out a motorbike and come here yourself or there's loads of different tour agencies in Kanchanaburi city that will provide you transport. We just got up to the seventh waterfall. That was lovely, loads of like Calcium five structures, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like we're in a cave, maybe. Mm. But it was pretty jammed. Yeah, it was pretty busy. A, a, a crazy amount of flies. Oh my god! Like thousands of flies. It was actually ridiculous. So we kind of just left there. You can't spin the drone up there, anyways. Yeah, there's a guard there. There's so. a guard there. All right, we're possibly going in for. Our last waterfall swim in Southeast Asia. Oh my god, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but listen, let's make it worth it. behind us when I was 15 years old doing my junior surf in Ireland I actually drew this waterfall for my name uh, junior surf uh, project and now 11 years later you're here we are. <laughs> the full circle so yeah pretty cool <laughs> We just found somewhere to stop at for food and look at this place. On a raft, on a lake with some mountains and a temple over there. Stop! This was a good find, Sean. Well done. <laughs> These kind of travel days are always our favorite. There's honestly something so special finding a restaurant kind of in the middle of nowhere, but that doesn't stop the locals from coming and having a great time. Eating foods that you won't usually have. This was the first day I had catfish and it was pretty delicious. Look around. Oh, 
Beautiful. I don't know what we got, but we got food. You get to spend time with the locals and connect with each other even though there is a language barrier but that doesn't stop us from getting to know each other. really badly but today we're gonna go from Kanchanaburi to Ayutthaya but more on that on next week's video make sure to like and subscribe and take it easy <laughs>